Suppose we have the integral of a rational polynomial function. So the polynomial in the numerator can be written as follows. And similarly, we can write the polynomial in the denominator as follows. Now for the case where the degree of the polynomial in the numerator is greater than or equal to the degree of the polynomial in the denominator, well we can apply polynomial long division to simplify the integral by rearranging it into an equivalent form. And this will be clear when we cover some examples. We can also complete the square to simplify integrals by rearranging them in their equivalent forms. And the main two types of integrals we'll look at are reciprocals of radicals of quadratic polynomials or the reciprocals of quadratic polynomials. So P2 can be written as follows. And when we complete the square to put these integrals into their equivalent forms, they typically evaluate the known inverse trig functions. And we'll see that in several examples. Let's evaluate this integral. So we have the polynomial in the numerator having a higher degree than the polynomial in the denominator. So what we can do is use polynomial long division to simplify this integrand. So x into x squared goes x times by x is x squared and 1 by x is x. And we subtract those, and what we end up with is minus 6x plus 5, and then x into minus 6x goes minus 6 times, by x is minus 6x, and then minus 6 by 1 is minus 6. And then we subtract those from each other, and we end up with 11 for our remainder. So therefore this integral can be written as x minus 6 plus 11 on x plus 1. And now you should find this easy to integrate and post your answer in the comments. Let's evaluate this integral. So in this case the degree of the polynomial in the numerator and the denominator are equal. So therefore we can use polynomial long division or alternatively, we can simplify this integral as follows. So I have x squared plus 5, and then minus 6 in the numerator gives us minus 1. And that's divided by x squared plus 5, and we integrate with respect to x. And therefore we can write this integral as the integral of 1, because x squared plus 5 on x squared plus 5 is 1, and then minus 6 on x squared plus 5. And this is integrated with respect to x. And as a hint, this second part of the integral is going to be an arctan. So evaluate the integral and post your answer in the comments. Let's evaluate this integral. So the degree of the polynomial in the numerator has a higher degree than the polynomial in the denominator. So what we can do is use polynomial long division. And because we don't have an x squared term, we can just put 0 x squared. Now x into x cubed goes x squared times, by x is x cubed, then x squared by 1 is x squared, and we subtract the result, and that gives us minus x squared. And now we bring down the 3x term, and x into minus x squared goes minus x times, multiply by x is minus x squared, then minus x by 1 is minus x. And then subtracting the result is going to give us minus 3x plus x, which is minus 2x. Then bring down a 6, and then x into minus 2x goes minus 2 times, by x is minus 2x, and then minus 2 by 1 is minus 2. And then subtracting the result, we obtain 8. And therefore we can write the integral as follows, so x squared minus x minus 2 plus 8 
on x plus 1. And now you can integrate this quite easily and post your answer in the comments. Let's evaluate this integral. So because we have a radical, we can try to complete the square. So we have minus x squared plus 2x minus 6. And we complete the square by running x squared plus 2x and then divide this by 2 and square it. So we get 2 on 2 squared and then to get minus 6 we subtract 7. So therefore we can write this as 7 minus x plus 1 all squared. And therefore if you replace this polynomial with this term over here and then you can use u substitution to evaluate an arc sign for a solution. And I'll leave it for you to post your answer in the comments.